It is trio week this week. And I'm gonna yawn because I'm actually really quite tired. Oh dear. Ninja. Ninja. That was good. So this week we have a jazz routine, and I'm so excited that it will be with Mark. Zoom, zoom. Derek and I have worked together for many years, uh, so this is kind of an ideal situation. Oh, that's nice. Because we work very well together. We can just get to the point and get on with it. It needs to be interesting. It can't just be like, it has to be interesting. It can't just be. <laughs> we razz each other and make fun of each other and, and beat up on each other all day long, so it's a lot of fun. Change your handhold, change it. Okay. Mark danced with this wireframe box a year ago, and so he kind of brought that idea to the table. And the idea is, is being isolated. And I saw this rope and this light fixture thing in a furniture store, and I thought that would be kind of fun to play with. It just feels different, though. That's why I like it, because like it, it just feels different. When Mark and Derek create together, it's crazy. It's crazy, crazy. <laughs> Come forward, all the way forward, and then that's it. Peace. There's definitely some moments in this dance where it's pretty dangerous, especially for Bindi because she's barefoot. It was a burn. Uh, no, that's, that's painful. Her feet could get crushed and she's jumping off things. Oh. Whew, it scared me. But I feel like at this point in the competition, you gotta go for risks. We're just beating her up. You can't sort of just rely on what you've done. You have to keep upping your game. The sets, the dancing, the choreography, it's pretty extraordinary. The finals are so close. It's crunch time. So much could happen that it's really kind of scary. You just close your eyes and hope for the best. Shut up. Oh!